Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use curves in Blender, how to create pipes or ropes with them, change them into different looking weird shapes. And in the end, I'll also show you how to customize these paths to create some personalized and creative hair strand. So let's stop talking and go right into it. The most commonly used curves are the Bezier, the Circle and the Path Curve. And I will show you what the difference between these three are. The Bezier Curve right here, if we select it and press Tab to go into Edit Mode, has two handles which we can just move around and rotate. And the Path in between tries to create and hold up this smooth looking motion. If we want to change the style of these, we can select the vertice and press G to move it around or press R to rotate it. We can even select different handles and just move them around to sharpen the different curves and paths. Bezier circle over here works with the same principle, but instead of having just two vertices, we have four of them and all of them are connected together. Nonetheless, we can just move them around, also play with the different handles and create customized shapes. The last one is the path, it comes in a straight line and if we go into edit mode, we have five different vertices we can move around. What's different with this is we can move the vertices around, but the path won't follow the exact point of the vertices, it will try to hold the most smooth and clean line in between of these. I really like to use this if I want to create a circle shape. So if you press E to extrude it, you can just move them around in this shape and it will create a clean looking smooth line and you don't have to worry about the different vertices placement and the handles. Now I'll show you how to turn this path into actual geometry and this works for all the other path options too. So for now let's select the Bezier curve and go into edit mode. And under the data settings over here, we can give the whole path some actual geometry. Therefore, we have to open up the geometry settings over here. Under the bevel round option, we can increase the depth. And instantly we can see we have some geometry that will be rendered in the viewport and in the final render. It looks like a pipe or a rope or for whatever reason you might need this. If you want to close the end and the beginning, we can also use the fill cap setting. This will just add geometry at the end and the start of the pipe. Right now it's super low poly, it doesn't have that much detail, it has some super sharp edges. To increase the resolution we can just up this value right here and we can see it gets super smooth. If we also want to increase increase the resolution of the path and not just of the round bevel right here. We can go into the active spline setting and under the resolution U we can up this value and we can see the curve gets super smooth. Now as I mentioned before we can select one vertice right here and press E to extrude it and this will create a new segment that we can play around with. We can also press Ctrl and right click to snap the new section to our cursor and we also have some different settings if we press V how we want to customize our handles. The first setting is the automatic one. As you can see, it straightens the line and it makes it as clean as possible. If for some reason your line looks super crooked and weird, you can just press V and select the automatic one and it will snap back to a default value, I would say, that looks super clean and smooth. If you would select the vector type, it gets super pointy and straight. I never used this one before, but I think it could get super handy for some different projects. The next one we have is aligned. This one is just the default settings. We have the two handles. We can rotate around and scale up or down. But you can see if we select one of the handles and rotate it, the other one rotates in the opposite direction. If we want to have full control over where we want to place those two handles, we can select the middle one and after pressing V, select the free type. Now we can move those two handles separately and create a customized shape or form. This one I used a little bit more because it can get super handy for some different sections or parts of your project. But I feel like most commonly you will use the aligned or the automatic section right here. Good, if we want to make the shape a little bit more interesting, we could also use the extrude setting over here on the geometry and increase this one to get this cool looking thick and extruded line. Or under the bevel modifier, we can select the profile over here and then play around with the different handles in the profile to customize the shape of our extrusion. It also has some presets in here that you can use that can give you some ideas what actually is possible with this. Now the last thing I show you is how to customize the shape even more to for example create some stylized hair. Therefore I added in a new Bezier curve and under the bevel we will select the object option. In here we need to add a object and this one will be our curve circle one. 
I move the circle to the side here, select the other path under the object, select the eyedropper tool and then select our circle. As you can see, it will use the circle as the bevel of the path. So if we select the circle and scale it down, you can see it gets updated in real time. With the circle still selected, we can go into edit mode and play around with the look of it. So let's move it around like that and as you can see we get this cool looking shape. To stylize that even more we can select two vertices, right click and subdivide it. This will add a new vertice in between of those two or we can open these settings at the bottom here and up the number of cuts so we set this to two. Now as before we can just move around those vertices to create our personalized shape. Let's do the same thing over here to make it look something like this. And as you can see, this creates this cool looking personalized and stylized hair string. To change the scaling of the hair string, we select this object and go into edit mode. Then select the vertice we want to scale and instead of just pressing S, we have to press Alt S and then we can scale this part down. With this setting, we can really play around with the whole style of it to customize it to the way we want. We could also duplicate this one, go into edit mode and move those path things around to something like this and with doing this over and over again you can create a personalized hairstyle if you want me to do a full tutorial about that write it in the comments and i will show you how to create a stylized hairstyle for your characters all right that was it for this tutorial i hope you could learn something about the curves in blender and i hope you can use this somehow for your projects if you have some questions just write them in the comments and i will see you the next time peace out